Today, I'm going to learn how to convert this design made by me in Photoshop to his own animated poster right here in After Effects. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is King Sam, and I make video editing, graphic design, and motion graphics with their content right here on YouTube. And if that's something that interests you, please like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. And the easiest way to reach me is by joining my motion design community. The link is in the video description. Come in, join, say hi to more amazing people like yourself. And you know, just say hi. And without talking too much, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to my file explorer here. And I'm just going to drag this into After Effects. And I'm going to leave my point kind on composition within layer size. And I'm going to click on OK. Now I can just come up here and open up this layer. So the first thing I'm going to animate is this my subscriber, uh, whatever they call this thing bar here. I want it to be moving. And what I can do is I can shut off this layer because that's where I put my camera raw filter. And I'm just going to recreate this subscriber bar right here in After Effects. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to my pen tool here. And I'm just going to write subscriber. And make sure you just the same font. And I'm just going to change the color of my subscriber bar here to the same orange like this. Now I'm going to select these two like this and let's align them first. And I'm going to left click and I'm going to pre-compose them. And I'm going to move all attributes to a new composition and click on OK. Now I can open my pre-compose like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my composition settings. And I'm just going to make sure this place is not locked here. And I'm just going to reduce the height here. Let's say something like this. Cool. Now, I'm going to bring this post, bring this back like this. And I'm just going to scale it up. Okay, now let's just arrange it back to the center of our composition. Now we're going to pre-compose this again. And I can just scale this up one more time so that the edges can touch the borders of uh, our composition. So I want the edge to touch here and also want the edge to touch here. That's cool. Now I'm going to go to my effect and preset type uh, panel here, and I'm just going to type motion tile. And I'm going to apply it to this print composition right here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a keyframe on my title center here. I'm going to come down here, eight seconds here, and I'm just going to change this to 1000. And if you see this place, there's a bit of a, a space in between these two places there. And that we don't want that. So I can go back to my, I can go into this, my composition here. And I'm just going to make sure that all uh, parts of this rectangle are touching uh, both sides. So on my rectangle here, I'm just going to unlink the scale. And I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to increase it this way. But I'm sure that the both edges here are touching the two edges of our composition. Now, if you come back here, you can see that it has disappeared from there. Now, coming back to our main composition here, you can see that the subscriber bar is now animated. That's cool. I think I can do I can take this down a little bit. Yeah, let's change it to minus 1000. Okay, so now when we go back, you can see our subscriber bar now is animated. Now, next thing I'm going to do is on this my pre-composition here, I'm just going to apply our Gaussian blow. 
and I'm just going to increase this to 17. So it can have the same look as this one down here. Now I'm going to scale it up on things around the same size, and I'm just going to rotate it. Let's see, 17. Okay, I think it's the opposite direction. So minus 17, like this. Okay, I think it's still too big. You can reduce it. Yeah, I think that's the right size for it. So let's see. Let's rotate it again. I think this is okay. Now I can just move it down so that I can just align it with my original layer. So I think let's find the layer. So I think this layer here. So I can just bring this down here. Yeah, that's the layer. So I can delete this layer. So now I can just go to this uh, layer here from our original one. So this subscribers layer, how you know the one that followed our, our Photoshop file, you see the Photoshop logo beside it here. And I can just delete this one because I don't need it anymore. And, you know, put this new one down there. So like this. Now let's rename this to new sub. Okay, so I'm just going to replace this now in all the other places here. So I can duplicate this and let's find out where these other ones are. Okay, this is that subscriber there. So I can bring this down here and I can rotate to match it. Let's move it up like that. And now if you play it back, you're supposed to have something that looks like this. That's looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to my picture here. Can we name that picture? And what I'm going to do to my picture here is I'm going to begin on my timeline here, open up my position property. I'm going to make a keyframe. I'm just going to move it backwards around one second here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it downward like this. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to my rectangle layers here. So these three rectangles, I'm going to open my position property and you no know, make a keyframe. And I'm going to drag it down like here. And same thing, I'm just going to move all three of them down like this so i can just move this back and finally move this back like this now i can highlight all of them for these keyframes now i'm going to hit f9 to easy ease so to open up my graph editor and i'm just going to adjust the speed graph like this and now i can take this my picture and I'm just going to move it backward like this. So it's the last thing that starts animating. Okay, I can still move this backward a little bit and I can still move this like this. So let's see that again. That's cool. Now I'm going to take my pen tool here and I'm going to make sure that nothing is selected down here. And I'm just going to make a simple shape that looks like this. So a simple shape like this. And I can just move this down like this also. Okay. So now I'm going to take this shape layer and I'm just going to bring it above my picture layer here. And I'm going to select my picture and my rectangle. And I'm going to toggle between modes. And I'm going to change them to the track mat. I'm going to change it to the track mat. And I forgot that I'm supposed to invert the max. So now when you go back to the beginning of the timeline and play it back, you're supposed to have something that looks like this. That's amazing. So 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come around somewhere here. And first, I'm going to this my 2000 layer, this my 2000 text layer here. And I'm going to left click, go to create, and create convert to editable text. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to my effect and preset panel here, and I'm going to type in slider. And I'm going to apply my slider on this text. Now, I'm going to change this to zero, first of all. And I'm going to align it. Okay, sorry. Let's open my properties first. And I'm going to go to my, I'm going to center my text. Then I'm going to my align. And I'm going to align it in the center of my composition like this. So I'm going to open up my text here. I'm going to open up effects. I'm going to open up text also. I'm going to open up my slider control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, I'm going to pick up my socks test to my slider right here. And I'm going to make a keyframe on my slider control. Now I'm going to come down, let's say to around three uh, seconds here. And I'm just going to increase my slider to 2000. Yeah. And now if you look at it, you are supposed to have this weird looking animation like this coming up we are going to solve that right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to alt click my source text here so it can open up uh my expressions panel here and i'm going to type in okay so when you do that now and if you guys didn't know, I'm just going to leave the code right there in my video description so you can check it out. It's supposed to have something like this. A simple counting up animation from 0 to 2000. Okay. Now, I'm going to subscribers and this is my YouTube logo right here. And I'm going to move them closer to each other. And I'm going to open up my position keyframe. I'm going to make a keyframe on position. So I'm going to find a place where the 2000 finish animating. So let's see here. And I can just move this backward a little bit. So let's just move it here. And around here, I'm just going to raise it up like this. Now, I think I can see even take this and move it backward a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure nothing selected. I'm going to my rectangle tool here. And I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle like this. And I'm going to select this, my two layers again. And I'm just going to make this new rectangle we draw, we drew their, uh, their track mat. And now for the beginning of our animation here, for this thank you animation, I'm just going to open up my opacity by clicking T. And I'm going to make a keyframe. I'm going to move it down a bit, let's see, around 10 frames here. And I'm just going to turn this down to zero. So we have this. And I think I'm just going to move this back small. Oh. So next we are going to do is we are going to come back to this our picture and three rectangles here. And what we are going to do is we can select the three rectangles here. And I'm just going to pre-compose this layer and move the attributes like this. And I'm just going to change the track mark again and invert it also. And what we're going to do now is we are going to select this our new pre-composed layer and our picture layer here. And we are just going to come to our effect and preset panel here. And I'm just going to type in Wiggle. And I'm going to select Wiggle position. And I'm going to apply it on the two of them. And I'm just going to change my wiggle amount to 10. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. So thank you for watching that video. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And now that I have learned how to make this amazing animation, you can watch this video right here, or you can watch this video right here, and I will catch you in that video. So till then, improve every day, grow constantly, and dream endlessly. Love you guys.